guys, I just figured out what the passport bro trend is. Never did I know what this was. I kept getting so many comments and I finally decided to look it up. A lot of people were trying to connect the trad wife movement with the passport bro trend and how they're similar. So yeah, let's unpack this. So if you don't know what the passport bro trend is, it's where men are coming to the conclusion that there's not as many ultra feminine, submissive, and traditional women in the Western part of the world, such as the United States. And they are, they're packing their bags, they're out. Um, they're getting their passports and they're going to Europe, they're going to the Philippines, they're going to countries where traditional women are more common and traditional values are practiced more. I did see this toxic hookup culture part of the uh, passport bro trend and I do not agree with hookup culture or anything like that. However, the underlying reason this is a thing is because men are realizing that women in the Western part of the world are really chasing after money, independence, a career, and these men want women who ultimately just want to be a wife and a mother and they're submissive and they're traditional. And yes, there's pros and cons to this idea just like anything. I mean, I don't necessarily think you have to leave the country that you are in to find a wife, but there have been men who have left the country to find their wife. So now I'm gonna chime in with my thoughts. What are the possible cultural differences happening here? Personally, I see women here in the United States chasing independence and freedom away from their family. Statistically, the number of single 18 and 19 year old girls getting into apartments or living situations with roommates has skyrocketed. Why? They don't wanna live with their parents and be told what to do. Whereas in these other countries where traditional values are practiced more, these girls are staying close to their family or living with their family until they find their husbands. These women and young girls are getting guidance from these male figures in their family, such as their dad or their brothers. They're protected from outside interference and influence from their family. It makes sense. The idea of living with your parents past the age of 18 is kind of looked down upon here in the United States. Like, oh, you live with your parents still? Hmm, yeah, what's wrong with that? You're protected, you have guidance, and you're waiting for your husband. You don't have to work crazy hours to support yourself. It makes sense. My conclusion is I understand why this is a thing. There's pros and cons, but I get it. 